My first contact with the, the Haydn symphonies, uh, it was when I was a boy, or a yes, boy, it's around, I think uh, I was 10 years old. And, and remember, I was a listener of classical music, and uh, I remember this uh, long playing by, conducted by Max Goberman, uh, recorded for CBS. That probably was they were recorded in the 60s or early 70s. And I remember very well the symphony number no. one that we are just recording that I liked a lot also in that time. And I think this was really the first contact with this music. We decided to start uh, from two very dramatic symphonies, number 39 and number 49, La Passione. And uh, it was a, it's, it's music that was written around 1764-65. Uh, and for me, the, the, the source of inspiration uh, was uh, in some way also the Gluck music. And we have this ballet, Don Juan, that Gluck uh, wrote in 1761 that has several elements in common with two symphonies. And this is the reason why we decided to put together with Gluck this symphony, and also the number one, because it also is the first project with Haydn symphonies. If we can compare, for example, with Mozart, uh, in a way, I would say the Mozart is more, is, is more easy to listen because Mozart has, we can find a lot of thema that uh, you can listen one time and probably you can remember. In Haydn you don't have this, but many times you have a more interesting construction of the piece. For example, the development in the sonata form, for me, are more interesting in Haydn music than in Mozart symphonies. The something that I hate uh, are about Haydn that uh, this uh, one is called Papa Haydn because this gives an image of okay Papa will will love him but it's a little boring uh, and uh, I don't know this Papa Haydn and then comes really the true music like Beethoven or this uh, and for me Haydn in general is difficult very difficult to perform well. And uh, I have to say that uh, many, uh, in general, many interpretations for me, for me it sound quite boring. So uh, what I'm trying to do is to find, as I told before, to find a key to, to discover how this music can sound in a way modern today, because it was modern also in the time of Haydn. Because I think that Haydn is not boring, it's just uh, what it's important to find how to perform. I, I give you an example. For example, the minuet, or especially modern orchestra, they hate in general to play minuet of Haydn. But for me, they don't understand the key how to do this uh, this minuet. Minuet can be the most boring thing in the world, but also the most poetical 
composition, it depends really from the performers. Like every kind of music, but especially for Haydn and like for Vivaldi. Vivaldi can be also very boring, or it's incredible music. It's really linked much more than other music to the performances. The Gianni Armonico is a group that is very well known for, about, for Baroque music. It exists that since more than 25 years. And uh, the characteristic is for me that uh, from the beginning we developed more and more a typical language, a sound that you can recognize immediately, even if you would li like or not, but you can say after two notes that's Giardino Armonico. That's something very important today where things are more and more similar. And uh, what is very important is especially the work that uh, we do about the rhetoric of the music, but especially about articulations, to think the, the, the attack of the sound in terms of language. We want to produce a T, a D, L uh, uh, with our instruments. That is really linked with the vocal music, but also with the rhetorical aspect of the music. I think hiding are so important.